More than 130,000 cars, buses, and trucks cross the Interveld Bridge every day. Now it's being rebuilt, and we took a close look at the company that got the nearly $300 million contract, HNTB Incorporated. ODOT also has very, very stringent pre-qualifications. Melissa Ayers is with the Ohio Department of Transportation. We think that their past record shows that they can really do this work and do it well. So we checked. We found, in fact, the company's work has raised concerns elsewhere, like this Wisconsin interchange last September. The department's concern was get the public off the ramp. And if you look closely, you can see why. It's a crack support beam. A company representative accepted responsibility for the flaws in design. There appears to be a lack of steel in the structure itself, and that's what's causing the cracking over the roadway. And we found another example. In 2004, HNTB admitted there were stress cracks in this bridge it built in Minnesota. They were corrected. But our investigation found Ohio's Department of Transportation failed to question Wisconsin or Minnesota officials about problems they had. It wouldn't be ODOT's responsibility to look at other projects outside of Ohio, even if they had design flaws. Because we, we can't speak to the circumstances, the state's criteria. And ODOT signed away $287 million without raising a single question about what contributed to those flaws. But they should do something about checking into the situation before they do something. Nobody cares about anything anymore. And safety is of a concern. Was ODOT aware of other design flaws? Mm -hmm. Was it particularly aware of these other incidents? Well, like I said, we, we look specifically at Ohio. But Cleveland Councilman Joe Simperman says the bridge is in his district, and he's concerned about our findings. ODOT admitted it, it never looked at these issues in other states. What's your reaction to that? Well, that disturbs me um, because there's things that you can learn from other people's mistakes, just like there's things that you can learn from things that have been successful. HNTV declined to speak on camera, but in this statement, the company said it has earned a reputation for technical excellence and remains one of the most trusted design firms in the nation. And an industry trade publication ranked it number two in the country in bridge design. ODOT insists it will be inspecting the work. You know, safety is our number one priority here, and we have asked and required that an independent quality firm uh, be on um, site to review all plans, um, to review the process. 